So just a quick uh, brief video here, just kind of going through the interior of the TRX. So this one is equipped with the Harman uh, Kardon uh, sound system, the upgraded sound system. I don't know if all TRXs come with, with these uh, all season floor mats. I do have the standard floor mats as well, but uh, yeah, they're kind of cool. They've got the raised red Ram emblem in there. And then we did get the red stitching on our seats with the TRX emblem on the back. We've got the 12 inch display. I'll just hop in here. I do not have running boards, but again, I'll go over that when we uh, when we talk a little more about the options that I got on this truck. And it is taller than the Raptor. I'm six feet tall, so I have to jump up in here a little bit. Okay, we can set our phone right there. It holds it right in place. And then that is a charger. Got your gear shifter right here. You've got another little cubby spot back in here. You have your USBs your auxiliaries. You can turn on and off your parking sensors. You can turn on and off your lane keep assist. You can also turn on and off your adaptive cruise control right here. We'll probably save these some of these things for when we're driving some of these features, but I wanted to show you the interior. This is actually a, I think there's a, either a speaker right back there. This is all the Encantera. It's also on the steering wheel squared off bottom. This does have the carbon fiber pack as well, or carbon fiber interior. So we've got some carbon fiber features. Here's another one over here. This also pops open. There's a light in here and it's also just kind of a nice felt cloth inside, inside there. And you've got your glove box right down below. Got your owner's manual and a bunch of other stuff that I haven't even gone through yet. I, I can see that there is uh, some, some ratchets with some, uh, nuts and bolts. So I'm not sure exactly what that, that is in there. Here you've got your leather care, uh, guide hanging from the truck. Mine came with a little bit of a, it's got the, uh, T-Rex footprint right here. Mine did get creased by someone, uh, when it was getting, getting detailed. Cup holders in the back, cup holders in the front. Here is the key to the TRX. Get your automatic tailgate too that you can drop down. You've got your auto start. We'll set that right there. Really like this. Uh, oh yeah. And then down below here, this is like a, it goes way down in here. You gotta kind of watch it. Stuff will go down below. But yeah, cup holders are looking pretty decent. They've got these rubberies on the outside, so it'll hold different size soft drinks. I would imagine that's your key holder right there. Uh, you can lift up just the top part right here and just basic inside this is all felt you've got one usb right here here's your 2021 ram trx performance feature guide you have to go through all that but pretty sweet picture there on the front i do not have the ram bar either but i'm sure there's i mean i like i like the way it looks but i think there's going to be an aftermarket one that's going to look pretty sweet so here's your performance feature card that's still sealed some of my paperwork there from the dealership. And going down here, this is where you've got RAM and then all the different numbers. Uh, down below there, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see that very well. You've got a picture of a RAM, uh, the RAM TRX and then an actual T-Rex and then a Raptor right there. Here is where you have another um, 110 volt just straight plug in right there. So you've got one sitting there, and then you also have one right up top here to plug in. Oh, here we go. You can actually shut this, and that's all carbon fiber on top as well. So pretty nice little features there. Here's all your launch control and your TRX. We'll go through all that as well. Uh, hill descent, traction control on and off. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Here's your trailer brake and then your rear trailer steering. I had this in my Raptor. I did try it one time. Um, I have, uh, I'm hauling my trailers quite a bit. So um, backing them up is not an issue for me. So this is uh, something I'm not sure if I'll even use, but it's got really nice cameras. You really need the 360 cameras and the backup cameras and things like that in these trucks. It just helps out so much when when you're looking over that, uh, looking over that big hood. 
That's your TRX emblem right there, and that does light up at night. People do say that the paddle shifters are really in strange spots because there's a gap here in the middle from the top and the bottom. The reason why there's a gap in the middle is because you've got your usual RAM uh, control knobs right here for your radio control and things like that. So they're kind of expecting you to have your hands right up here and kind of the fat part of the steering wheel. And then boom, 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 you've got your minus and your plus right here. So, I mean, I don't see what the big deal is with it, but yeah, I can, if you're used to having a paddle shifter that goes straight from top to bottom, if you were driving right down here, but I think they're expecting you to be driving up here. Heads up display is right in front of us. You may have seen that in some of our videos. You've got your adjustable foot steps or your foot pedals. They'll move back and forth, all of your light controls, and your it's got an electric uh, e-brake on it. So that's what we've got right there. You've got the dual pane sunroof. Up top, you've got like emergency assist and uh, you've got your sliding back window, things like that. This rear view mirror is, it took me a little while to get used to it. Like when you look at it at first, your eyes almost have to kind of uh, dilate a little bit to it because it's actually like a an iPad screen and it just shows you what's going on in the back of the truck. You can just keep it, it doesn't have to really face it. You can keep it kind of straight and... I've left it on, It's at the first I thought I was gonna shut it off, but that is a really cool feature, having just the video monitor out back of this truck. You can see how much room is in this truck too. It is huge. All right, let's hop on into the back and I'll show you a couple things here. Gotta jump down. Again, excuse the mess in my garage. I've got all of my golf stuff here, all my rain gear. Here's our doors, nice padding right here. That Encantera suede feel right here. Very, very nice. Our speakers. Um, here's, what do we got? Some, got our license plate holder right here. We'll keep that underneath there. And then I think, yeah, we've got some storage below. But hey, one other thing here too. Let me move this out of the way. Again, we've got these heavy duty all season floor mats. But then underneath that, here's where we have our, our basically our storage boxes right here. And those things lock pretty big size I can't it's got a couple of tie downs here too in case you've got something in the back that you need to tie down hopefully you guys can see that but these are cool to store stuff in I really like that let's get this out of the way here again I believe it's on I'm trying to remember here this makes the seats recline in the back here they actually recline I'm trying to remember how to lift them up I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. I cannot remember how to lift the seat up because underneath here we've got storage as well. But this, if you pull up on it, this makes the seat, oh, that lifts it up. There's our storage right there. Okay. And I think if you pull up on this and slide, yeah, it shows right there how the, if you pull up on this, it'll also make the seat recline let's check it out once let's see what we got if i get in here here we've got the back of the seat i mean you can see how much room is in this cabin let's shut this you can see how much room is in here see out of the sunroof so now right above me here too this is really dark but these are both speakers i believe right above you here so the sound system in here is wicked let's lift up on this Yep. So now I am reclining in the seat and I'll show you when we get out of here, you can see how much the seat has moved forward, but got an old crap bar right here to hang on to. Get your window up and down. And then right down here, we've got ventilated and heated seats, USB ports, ventilated and heated seats on the other side, and then a full on 110 plug. Yeah, the cabin inside the TRX is just unbelievable. This is our badge right here, indicating the, it's got the horsepower numbers on it. It's got our serial number on it. Just kind of a nice, it's got, I mean, it's all metal heavy duty feeling. Pretty sweet. Yeah, and then I don't know if, yeah, these basically can hold tools or whatever you need to, if you're going off-roading, you can just stuff things right in there and it'll keep it nice and secure when you're cruising down the, the highway but right now with this seat just like leaning back this is so nice might be a little dark in here for you guys but 
wanted to get this video just kind of showing you what the inside of the TRX is like. So quiet in here, so nice until you step on it. I mean, you can always hear that supercharger whine, but as far as like tire noise and things like that, it's just so quiet and so nice. I love it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's show you what this looks like. I'm gonna jump down. You can see my John Deere just sitting there, but that's the reclined seat right there, you guys. It may even go just a little bit further, but I'm gonna leave it like that for the first person that's sitting in the back. Yeah, so we got those RAM storage box underneath. These all season floor mats are just nice. They actually lock in, lock in so they're not moving around in the back. But the cabin of this thing is a really, really nice place to be. Amazing a cabin for a truck. Let's see. Let's come down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Hang on a second, guys. I'm just kind of learning as I go here a little bit. So, two cup holders. They have the rubbers right here to kind of hold things in place. You have a center console in the back seat that lifts up. This is all felt. Wow. And then the Cantera on top. Dang, that is nice. I didn't even know this thing had that. So you get like, ooh, yeah. You get like the reclining seat. And this going on? Oh, wee. Dang, this thing is nice, you guys. So yeah, if I'm sitting back here, I'm thinking like my Raptor. Again, I had the Super Cab and Gen 2 Raptor, so it was really small in the back. But I had my Gen 1 was a full four-door. Tons of room in the back of the Gen 1 Raptor. I mean, if you guys own a Gen 1 Raptor, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, I went to some drag races and actually slept in the back of that thing. Yeah, I slept fine back there. It was awesome. But this is so much more luxurious. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Anyways, you guys, I'm super fortunate to have this truck. I'm going to keep flying with the videos. Let me know if you like it, if you don't. I mean, this is just the interior. I mean, again, the truck's got 250 miles on it, so it's brand new. Excuse my garage again. Like I said, I'll get my garage cleaned up. It's just been winter here, so it's just really tough to get everything set up. But yeah, here's the interior of the uh, Ram TRX. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.